In the hot sauce today, we are taking a look at a recent surge in the beauty industry for women of all ages and looks to feel fabulous and beautiful in their own skin. Companies are helping women embrace who they are and helping them highlight what makes them unique. One local photographer is doing that with her own studio. We have Robin Bayskiz here. Tell us about the mission of your studio and how you got it started. Okay, um, so basically it was kind of ironic. I was reading a, a magazine article about boudoir photography and my husband and I own a wedding photography business here in Buffalo. So we were actually driving on a long drive to go do a wedding and uh, I was just talking about it and how I can do that. I want to make women feel awesome. Um, so we just started throwing around ideas of the name and uh, Bubbles and Berries was kind of born from there. So so the idea is you can book a photography session with you. You come in and you get completely, you become glamorous. You have a yep. glamour photo shoot. What do you think is sparking the trend that regular everyday women want these kinds of photos of themselves? You know, I really think it's just about women kind of coming into their own and Honestly, like I get all age ranges and types of women, whether it's um, a young girl who just kind of wants to, you know, feel glamorous for a day, and whether it's a woman who's married and just kind of wants to rekindle her relationship. So, um, bringing in the hair and makeup stylist um, really gets them a chance to feel pampered for the day. Um, so, that's kind of, you know, their way of just taking some time for themselves and taking a step back from their crazy busy lives. <laughs> and do you think that women seeing uh, women in pop culture, maybe reality TV shows or in movies doing things like this sparks oh, an interest in having their own set of photos to go along with the trend? Definitely. I just had a recent session and she said that she had no idea what it was whatsoever and she saw a TV show that they were kind of doing a boudoir session and she, so she looked it up and there it was, and she's like, I didn't know this was actually a thing. <laughs> and the photos are beautiful that you brought with you today. How Thank do you, you. Uh, walk women through the process and make them feel comfortable in posing in, in these types of poses? So uh, that's kind of one of the biggest questions. People always say, I have no idea how to do this whatsoever. <laughs> so I literally will get on the floor. If it's a, f a floor pose, I will get in every position to show them exactly what to do and tweak them little bits at a time just to get exactly the right look that we're going for, whether it's expression or just, you know, creating a little bit more movement in their bodies. Um, and I talk a lot, so th throughout the whole session, by the time we're done, it goes by so fast. And what is the reception usually like? Um, by the Before they even walk out of the door, they feel completely amazing about themselves. And usually when they see their images, they're just blown away that it's, that it's them. And that's before any like smoothing of the skin or any retouching whatsoever. So that's just straight out of camera. Um, and they're just excited that they'll have these memories forever just to kind of capture that. That's right. How do you think that these types of experiences help empower the women here in Western New York? I feel that, especially um, whether it's a bridal boudoir and it's a gift for their groom or it's just to do it for themselves, um, I feel that they'll have the opportunity to, like I said, look back at these memories and just feel great that years down the road, like when they're in their 50s, 60s, looking back at like, yeah, I was pretty hot. <laughs> so just that confidence building. Um, you know, this is them, this is their bodies, this is their, you know, their time, so. All right, interesting trend for sure in the photography movement here in Western New York. Robin, where are you located and where can people find you online? So we're in the Tri-Main uh, building on Main Street and they can go to bubblesandberriesboudoir.com, uh, also Facebook, Twitter, all the social media outlets um, to find us. All right, thank you so much for coming in today, Robin, from Bubbles and Berries. Right now, though, it's time to head back over to Emily Lenahan for our next doc.